Hey you guys, welcome back. I am gonna be filming a fast, super, super fast, five product makeup application for you. This is something that I kind of do when I'm running the grocery store or whatever and I have two minutes um, to myself. So I hope you guys uh, learn a little bit and enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the Bally Body BB Cream and I'm just gonna throw this all over after I give it a little shake. It has SPF 15 in it, so you get your sunblock, and it also has a uh, grapeseed oil, which is going to help protect your skin against free radicals, uh, and it also has uh, hyaluronic acid, so that's going to help kind of keep the skin nice and plump. So it's anti-aging, which is cool. Now I'm gonna go in with my retoucher, my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Looks like so. This is a bit lighter. I'm gonna go with shade two. Just draw on underneath the eye. Bring it down a little bit on the cheeks. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. That's what I usually use for concealer the MAX 224 and just buff it on real quick. Bring it on top of my cheekbone due to kind of naturally highlight or get the highlight going before I put one on. I'm doing the sockets right here, typically that's where your veins are so that's really what's going to cause a lot of the dark circles is the actual inner corners right here. Just like that. I'm gonna go and do brows. Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Brow. This has got castor oil, so it's gonna help promote hair growth. And the color I'm using is called Linda. So it's a few shades lighter than my actual, my, my roots, but it's a bit of an ashy color. So it won't pull any red. So a lot of times when you're using anything um, more red undertoned, or warm, I should say, in the brow, your skin will naturally pick up that red pigment. And this is nice because it's a tiny, tiny brush, so it really grabs onto all those little, little hairs that you think are not actually going to show. So just like that. I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronzing Glow, the lighter one. A little flat dual fiber brush. I'm gonna press the highlight in here. I'm gonna do a little bit above the brow, the bridge of the nose, above the lip. Kind of stick to the center of the face. I'm going to take a little dome shape brush like so. This one's from MAC and it is uh, 165, I believe. So I'm gonna go in with the, the contour for Charlotte Tilbury. Go right underneath bone. And when I say go underneath bone, if you were to take this and roll it where it sinks in, that's literally right underneath bone. So that's also where you can kind of find where you would put a contour. Take it around the frame of the face here. The jawline. The sides of the nose. And then I'm going to take a mineralized skin finish from MAC. It's called Cheeky Bronze. It's kind of more of a peachy undertone, but it's also a bronzer. It's got some shimmer in it too. But I'm just going to throw this on with my little blush brush here. It's an angled brush from MAC actually, but I like it for... Um, my blush, it's, this one's made with real hair. I know now they make them all synthetic, but it picks up every little bit nice and easy and it applies it really, really smooth. So that's why I prefer this brush for my, for my blush. The synthetic ones I haven't really played with too much, but I would imagine that they are good as well. So I'm gonna dip it in here and go right on the apples and kind of bring it back to meet my contour. 
So this is just a fast kind of running around, running errands. I'm gonna throw a hat on and call it a day, but I just don't wanna look crazy in public. So there you have it. And you can throw on gloss or whatever. I'm probably just gonna throw on some chapstick and call it a day. <laughs>